Fatu's map wasn't half bad. It traced a route through the shower drain and a bunch of underground tunnels and ancient drainage pipes. This place was solid, but old, and it hadn't seen a whole lot of maintenance since Eisenhower was in the White House. I just had to hope the same could be said about old Sparky. In just a few moments, the raging controversy surrounding the murder of Augie Blatz will be put to rest with the execution of fallen police officer Jack Slate. Bearing witness today are Mayor William Pinnacle, Captain Dick Hennessy of the Grant City Anti-Crime Unit, who made the arrest, and a number of friends of the victim, including ex-heavyweight champ Rafshoon Diggs. Cost me a hundred bucks to get the pleasure of frying you, Slate. But I would have paid two. Oh, Heavenly Father, look into this man's heart and find the goodness. Look upon his soul with mercy and welcome him into your kingdom with open arms. Oh, dear God, give us a miracle. If this works, I'll be back to get you out of here, preacher man. Lord don't like the promises, son. Faith, Padre, faith. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time. Hey, Slate! When you get to hell, mention my name, and they'll give you a discount. Jack Slate, on behalf of the people of Grant City, I sentence you to death by means of electrocution for the heinous crime of intentional murder. Do you have any last words? Not yet. Son of a... I gotta get to that drainage pipe in the showers before this map will do me any good.
Just follow the dotted line on the map. It should lead me right out of here. Find another way around. You're mine, cop. You're a dead man. Come here, cop. Looks like that ledge is my only way across.
I gotta get that door open before the guards make it down. Tattoo. Didn't think he'd get this far without his picture book to follow. A guy like him's better left in a cage or the rest of the animals. Think you still got another 20 years to go, short stack? Screw you! He's over Just here! Uh, oh, He's oh, It says his name was Marvin Silt. Looked like a typical low rent thug. I don't know why he wanted me for a hood ornament, but I didn't have time to worry about that now. I needed a place to hide, and I knew just the perfect spot. They say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime, but very rarely do the good guys. By now, Hennessy would have my apartment under watch 24-7, but I was willing to bet that that crime scene was still open thanks to the usual assortment of bureaucratic snafus. I'd hole up in Blatz's apartment, let things cool down for a bit while I planned my next move. I wasn't going to get very far dressed like an escape prisoner, so I figured I'd borrow some of Augie's clothes. He wouldn't be needing them anymore now that he's six feet under. I had plenty of work ahead of me. Solve my father's murder and find the guy who set me up. And to do that, I was going to need guns and information, more or less in that order. And there's one place where both exist in profusion, Chinatown. Fat Chow was always good for getting hardware, though he mostly provided for the triads and Yakuza, exactly the guys you don't want to have it. But right now, I didn't care, so long as he could hook me up with something powerful. Wherever you find Fat Chow, trouble's never too far behind. He's one of those wannabe triads, but he's as slimy as they come. Frankly, I don't even think he's Asian. And what do we have here? A little payoff? Jack Slade! Who do you?
complete? Put the gun down now! He walked in like he owned the place, which suggested he probably did. Eight bucks said I'd find ballistic merchandise inside. Well, 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 what sort of illegal gambling den do we have here? Up, Chow. We need to chat. Jack Slate? There's a bounty for him, dead or alive! Better if he's dead! Guy named Silk. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he he hang out at Black Orchid a lot. I, I, what do you want? Why you do this to me? Hey, I just wanted to buy a gun, but I got plenty now. Thanks. You call the cops? You crazy? I just call for backup. Cops show up on their own. I don't want to start shooting cops. He's just doing his job. Slate, drop it! Call for backup! <laughs> Looks like Chow called for backup. Can't let the cops spot me or it's back to old Sparky. Call for backup!
Where to? Black Orchid. So this guy Silt practically lived at this massage parlor. Time to find out why he tried to run me down. Welcome. Please, may I take your coat? I'll hang on to it, thanks. I'm looking for Marvin Silt. I hear he comes here a lot. Yes, please. This way. Hey, hand over the iron. I'm gonna want this back. Something smelled fishy, and it wasn't the sushi bar. They escorted me to a room and told me to sit tight, but I didn't have time for that. I had to find Silt. This way. These goons aren't going to make finding Silt any easier. Get my guns back first. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh. Hey horse! I'd like my iron back if you haven't already sold it.
All right, Silk. Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. What do you want? You want money? Is that it? I want to know who hired you to run me down outside the prison. What, that? That wasn't nothing personal, man. I was told that if anyone other than Tattoo popped out of that pipe, to give him the run over. You was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, mate! Well, seeing as how I got your car, your phone, and your wallet, I'd say I was at the right place at the right time. Who gave you those instructions? A guy named Gopher. Said he was working for some... Jack Slate, I presume. You can relax. I was only after Silt. Yeah, well, so was I, but I wasn't done with him yet. Sorry. Had to be done. You want to point that somewhere else? You want to tell me why you killed Silt? Just settling a score. Somebody from Mayhem Inc. killed my brother, and I aim to put things right. Mayhem Inc.? What, that Assassin's Guild out of Broadway? That's the one. Figure if I kill them all, I'll eventually get the guy who snuffed my brother through a process of elimination. What about you? What's your beef with Baldy here? I'm trying to find a hit or two. You know of a guy about this tall, one eye, dresses kind of frilly, carries a gold luger? Gold Luger. Sounds like Patch, one of the Mayhem bosses. Thinks he's some kind of designer killer or performance artist. Real expensive and real hard to find. Yo, uh, what say we find someplace quieter? This chick's my only lead. I gotta keep her alive. Heads up, Jack. More thugs just pulled into the parking lot. Come on, tough guy. Well, that's pretty unorthodox for a hose. Don't you think? What are you waiting for? Get them off me! The hit girl needs my help. The place was surrounded by triad goons, courtesy of Fat Chow and his friends. He sure liked to carry a grudge, but they say an elephant never forgets. Alright, once we make it out of here, hang a right and head down the street. I'll cover your back. Cool being, 